Hello students, a very warm welcome to Aryanth Online Academy and here in this session, I am going to tell you that how to write a C program to find the sum of all elements of an array using the concept of pointer. So here in this video, we are going to solve this problem step by step. So let's start. And at the last, I am also going to dis uh, discuss that how exactly runtime output is going to look like and uh, how to do this all steps, right? So let's start. First header file inclusion thereafter main function is going to be included and compiler is going to read our program from here onwards. Thereafter int array five, we have declared an array of integer type. Initially we have declared it with five memory, right? But it is independent. You can declare 10, 20, any much memory as you require. Thereafter int i, one more variable of integer type and one more variable with the sum integer type initially it is assigned as a value zero. So initially the sum is having zero. Thereafter int star PTR, PTR is an integer pointer and uh, it is an integer pointer which is pointing to some variable. So let's start what printf statement we are passing in the first inter array elements five integer values. We are, we are uh, letting user know that we have declared five, five array memory. That is why five integer value user have to enter on its own. One by one user is going to enter the values as we have discussed in our previous lectures. So using for loop concepts, they are going to store respectively continuously in the, uh, uh, in the memory locations like m% percent array 0, m% percent array 1, m% percent array 2, array 3, array 4 likewise. That it means that indexing is should be contiguous 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 and one by one whatever element user is going to enter is going to store in the array. Thereafter, PTR equals to array. This pointer, this integer pointer, which we have declared, we are assigning something to it. What we are assigning, we are assigning array. So if we are assigning the name of array, it means that what a name of array indicates, name of any array indicates base address, isn't it? So base address of this array would be assigned to this variable PTR. Just after this, we are using one more for loop and inside this for loop, what we are doing, we are running this for loop five times, basically starting from zero th index and one by one, what we are doing. Initially, the value of sum is zero, zero plus star PTR. What is star PTR value at PTR? PTR is right now having base address of array. Right now, base address of array is the first index address. First index address is means zero th index array. 0th index position. So whatever is stored at the 0th index value at PTR, value at that address should be fetched and it is going to add with zero because initially the value of sum is zero. Now zero plus whatever value, let's say 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 user have entered, then zero plus 10 is going to become 10 and 10 is going to store in the sum. Thereafter PTR plus plus, this base address is going to increment by one. It means that right now, if indexing on the 0th index, then it will go to the first index. And whatever value would be there, it is going to fetch and it is going to add into the sum. So the previous value of sum was 10. 10 plus next value at PTR, whatever. It might be if it is 20, 10 plus 20, it would be 30 and 30 is going to be stored in the variable sum. PTR plus plus pointer is going to increment by one more. Now, whatever is stored at the second location is going to be added in that 30 plus whatever value at the second index. So till how this statement is going to run till this for loop is going to true. If we are using condition like i equals to zero and i is less than five, it means that it is going to run five times. If the value of i become four, four less than five at that time it is true. Just after this, i plus plus every time i is going to increment, isn't it? And if I will become five at that stand, uh, for loop is going to be out and uh, whatever value sum is going to hold at the final position will be going to print that the sum in the sum is this. So let's run it. The name is Sam array dot C. Okay. Let's run it. The name of our program is sum array dot C. So Okay, and compiling executable file with name A generated and enter elements. Five integer I have to enter. I can enter anything, 100, 
the second element is 200 300 400 and 500 and just i press the enter the sum is 1500 you got it right so this is how this program is going to work i hope the concept which i have discussed under this is clear to everyone further any kind of doubt or confusion you are having you can comment me in the comment section i will try to resolve them as early as possible for myself thank you so much a very nice day jai hind jai bharat